Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a quick little ranking video of some new or recently released um, full coverage foundations. Now, I want to jump into this fairly quickly to make this a reasonably length, a reasonable length. Video. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six foundations here, um, and that's just how I decided to rank them based on my skin type, which is dry skin. So don't get offended. Just listen to what I have to say or don't watch the video at all. That's um, entirely up to you on what you Next think. Next, I want to move in to say that I try to be hard on the foundations as far as full coverage in the realm of full coverage. I think that a full coverage foundation needs to have a very good shade range. That's just obvious. There's no forgiveness in it. It's full coverage. It should match your skin tone and so there should be various shades so the ones with the shittier shade range is automatically going to be ranked last for me um the second thing for me is my dry skin does it cling to dry patches and stuff like that but also what's interesting to me um is that i have a lot of acne so i want it to cover obviously if it's a full coverage or said to be a full coverage foundation i want good coverage out of it um in addition to that i care obviously about pigmentation of the products um the wearability of the product um and things like that that's what we're basing it off of i prefer a little bit more of a satin or dewy finish on a full coverage foundation um but many of these are kind of matte um and i understand that because if you are going for something a little more long wearing you're not going to go for something dewy because usually that's just going to slide right off your face so well without further ado please let's get go ahead and get into this and please don't be hard um on me for this i do try to give a reason and why if i don't like a product um for me um why i don't like it i'm not just gonna say that i don't like a product just for the sake of not liking a product so please respect the opinions and thoughts of others especially down in the comments below but let's go ahead and jump in and this is gonna be number six remember we're not judging here but this is my least favorite so sorry um and that's the kvd good apple foundation guys i don't like this i just don't like it i have mine in the shade light 008 i, I don't think this is the lightest shade in the bunch per se um but this is basically a cream stick foundation in a uh, compact this is recyclable um, I'm sure everybody under the sun has heard of this already I don't even know that you could really find this um, but this is for people who basically already have perfect skin I do not have perfect skin if you follow me you know that I deal with acne and it's been a struggle for me um, and this did cover my acne however it clung to dry patches I do have ice pick scars it didn't sit well on those ice pick scars at all um, and it just kind of for lack of a better way just just didn't wear well like around my nose and stuff like that and it just did not look good at the end of the day this is not a long wearing foundation this is a very creamy formula it's got a lot of pigment in it. it's got a lot of shock value once you put it on but if you don't have perfect skin and you have dry patches um and you just have those like there are some of us that that can exfoliate the shit out of our skin and put this on and you it will find a dry patch i'm telling you um that's what happened to me so if you're like that and you're like me do not buy this this is not worth your money i do not think this wears well now i do understand the controversy of this foundation is that um there was a specific tiktoker that loved this and then they got a little hate and they came back and basically said that well i don't have a problem with the foundation um like all of you guys do because i just use less foundation um, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Uh, I, I, I'm no bullshit, by the way. Um, if you use less of a product, that means that your problems that you were seeing when you were using more are just lessened. A foundation doesn't wear better by using less. A foundation doesn't look better by using less of it. It's not, it's just not gonna cling to dry patches as much. It's just not gonna sink into your pores as much. It's not, you're not gonna notice that it's wearing away shittily because you have less of it on. It doesn't mean that it's any better. The formula of the product does not change. So using less of a product makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, I'm sorry, but that's just facts. I'm sorry, that's just facts. You can't use less of a product only to diminish the fact you're diminishing the likelihood that's going to look awful because you're using less of it i just don't think that that's the way i roll i don't like it that much 
and I'm sorry, I'm. It, this does have, by the way, you'll get a, a cutaway on this, but this does have 40 shades in it. It's a decent shade range. The formula doesn't wear well, in my opinion, too creamy. Um, and it does look beautiful on TikTok on people's skin. Um, but I just, the problem with TikTok is they swipe it on their face and they say run out and go buy it, but they didn't wear it. They just literally took it out of the package. They're literally most of the time in their car and they're telling you run out and buy it, but we don't know what it's going to look like in, in 10 hours. You could look like, you can look like total shit in 10 hours. Don't run out and tell people buy it until you've given it a full shot. I feel like I've given this a full shot to tell you guys. Not worth your money or time, but if you like it, good for you. Um, good for you. And I don't say that in a mean way. I mean like legitimately good for you because it didn't work out for me. I think it's not working out for a lot of other people. A lot of other people are just kind of seeing through TikTok. And the problem with TikTok, with just with foundations, I love TikTok, but just with foundations is that you can't sit in your car after you just bought it in the parking lot at Ulta and swipe it on your face and and then do a one side without one side with and say run out and guys go buy it because we just don't know um how how the foundation will wear and we just don't have enough information but to go run out and spend 38 dollars by the way the other reason why i'm putting this dead last is there's just not enough product in here it's 0.33 out thir 0.35 ounces it's just not enough you're gonna blow through this is a lot of money it's a lot of money and it doesn't wear well sorry guys dead last on that one one that, again, all these are pretty well talked about, maybe except for one, um, but um, I'm putting this at number five, and that's the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation, and I have seen some YouTubers that I love and trust, and they say they love this foundation, um, but I believe that they have a little bit more of an oilier skin type. So the reason why I'm putting this number five is because I did feel like this cling to my dry patches a little bit drier formula and I do exfoliate my skin pretty well because I know that I have dry areas and I, I'm testing out foundation um, for you guys and I want to make sure that I'm giving everything a fair shot obviously. So I do exfoliate but this this finds and it, it just didn't wear well at the end of the day for me. I think that it didn't wear that great. Um, the other reason why I'm ranking this um, number five here is because there's only 14 shades in this and that's not a lot. This is the most affordable one in the roundup, but I think 14 shades for CoverGirl, bam. Girl, you've been on the block for a while. You need to really up your game, especially for something as full coverage as this 14 shades. It just ain't gonna cut it. Now it does get pretty deep, fairly light. This is, I think, the lightest shade here. Um, and that's an o, o, 802 Golden Ivory. Um, but it's really not really that, not that light if you really look at it though. Um, but yeah, it does get dark. It really needs to match other undertones. If you're going to get a full coverage foundation, you need to have not only the lightness and the darkness, but you need to cover the different t undertones in the skin. We need to have, you know, warm, we need to have cool, and we I need to have neutral within the mix, um, especially since some of us would be walking out there looking fucking pink. It's the right shade, but the wrong tone. And you'd be walking out there looking a little warm if you've got, you know, a pink undertone. I just don't like that. I've always struggled with that throughout my years, and I know I cannot be the only one. And a lot of brands are getting on board with that, but come on, cover girl, you've been there for a while. Um, and I just don't see you moving along with that 14 shades is not great for me this didn't wear well for with my dry skin and I just didn't feel like it wore all that great I I think it's decent if you like it you like it but for me I've got to move that a little bit last um, coming here at number four um, a, a, this is actually almost five stars on Ulta but I couldn't get down with this because it just didn't make my skin look that great. It did wear well. I do have impressions on my channel of this, but the more I wore it, the crappier it kind of looked on my skin. And you know, the underlying problem could be my skin, guys. I don't know, but this just didn't look that great on my skin. This did feel hydrating. This is full coverage. The other, this this shade right here did match me and this is neutral ivory. Um, but this, this only comes in 17 shades, which isn't bad. It's better than CoverGirl for sure. But this one I'm ranking just a little bit ahead of CoverGirl because these are almost neck and neck, but this one's a little more hydrating and a little more full coverage. Um, I do like the packaging of this. I do like the rose gold cap. And for the most part, Catrice does make some pretty good makeup actually for the drugstore. One of my, one of my favorite brands. This did wear pretty well. Um, I just thought while it wore well, it just kind of clung um to some areas on my skin which i don't like to look like a crepey crepey mess and this kind of did it for me so this does kind of cling to dry patches 
and the shade range it just isn't that great and guys i had to rank these somehow um just to get this out here so you guys had an idea of what might be good on the market and for the most part what the my top two here are probably the best and you've already heard about them um but yeah we just got to put these in some sort of order um and moving in next is a really good foundation but it's hard to find and there's not a lot of shades but i still love it and have to include it in here and that's the profusion um feel good skin long wearing skin perfector um, this here you can find at Walmart. Um, this is $6.98. It's so affordable, guys. It's so affordable and it's so good. It's a, it's a do for what's next. Um, it's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer or Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is a do for it, guys. The problem with this is it only has 12 shades. If you can find your shade in this, this is so good. I absolutely love this uh, foundation very much, but I can't rank it. I really, 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 really want to rank it number one, guys, because I love it that much. I think it's affordable. Um, The problem is, is accessibility is kind of hard to find. It's not all the Walmarts. It's in the Walmarts that have carry more um, Profusion line. Like They all carry Profusion, but some of them just carry the eyeshadow palettes. And then others of them carry the foundations and then they have like glitter top coats and all the other profusion stuff. So it's kind of hard to find. You can find it on walmart.com if you want to look at your shade. It does go dark. Um, in the shade range, this does go dark. This is the lightest shade in warm yellow, I think, fair one. Um, but it just misses all the different undertones in my opinion. It's not bad. You'll probably be able to find your shade, but I don't want to be certain about it. Um, I think that if they could improve the shade range of this, that this is this is top notch right here. I would put this number one for sure, but I just can't because it only has 12 shades, unfortunately, and that's so sad. But this is so good, guys. I absolutely love it. If you can get your hands on this and you see this at Walmart and you're like walking past it, get it. It's good. If you can find your shade, I like it. It's wonderful. Moving in at number two um, is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. No surprise, everybody's been loving this this past year. Um, I have mine in the shade Mont Blanc Light 2. Um, and this bad boy is got a really good shade range on it at 34 shades, pretty decent. It covers a decent amount of undertones. It gets as dark as dark can be, I think. Um, and I think that this wears very well, it looks very beautiful on the skin. Um, and it's just an excellent foundation. Um, this is one that you could probably do the Kat Von D trick and put it on a foundation brush and go like this and go, oh my God, because it will give you that kind of coverage. It's excellent. Um, it's soft. It's soft matte it's like the perfect name for this because it's exactly what you get out of this um great for special occasions great for going out excellent excellent foundation and i just absolutely love it i can't say enough about it i'm not going to talk too much on it because i think that everybody and our sister talks about that one it's pretty good this one's getting a little hype but i think it deserves a little more and that's the clinique even better clinical serum foundation this comes in 42 shades here and i just absolutely love it and obviously that's what i'm wearing today so i'm going to bring you in this wears really well on the skin for me and I just think that it just looks beautiful on my skin obviously I have problematic skin I don't use a beauty filter at all I don't see a point in that um the premise of behind my channel is just to show you what makeup actually looks like on real skin and hear the honest opinions of a real person without any bullshit guys um and this is what it looks like on my skin it, it does look a little better in person I don't know why with the lights and stuff that um things just kind of look a little different but if you're looking at the highlight guys that's the new Jaclyn Hill highlight and ice um I've just been testing it out but I kind of like it um but yeah I mean I think my skin looks nice now I am dealing with some breakouts and stuff like that um I am on the struggle bus with my acne um but yeah I just think it looks really good on the skin I think it wears really well um as far as transfer proof the only thing you know I didn't mention guys is transfer proof with masks I'd say that these two are pretty transfer proof the profusion and this because these are basically dupes honestly but this profusion one and the nars soft matte complete are the ones that are like transfer transfer proof this one right here i haven't done a test on but it does have a tack 
if you will have to powder it down you will get some it's not the worst offender of it but it's not exactly transfer proof but it looks great at the end of the day you powder it um i would say that it has more of a satin finish it's not exactly dewy but it's not exactly matte it's very natural on the skin very lightweight foundation um and i just absolutely love it i think it deserves a little more praise there is some skincare benefits in it it's supposed to help with dark spots and stuff i can't i can't speak to that um but there's like salicylic acid and some other ingredients in that foundation um that are supposed to better your skin as well again i can't speak on that but i did tell you that i was using a little more aggressive exfoliants on my skin and then i used that and i when i washed it off at the end of the night my, my skin was like irritated so i'm wondering if the salicylic acid in combination with a little more aggressive exfoliant kind of irritated my skin so if you're using like a retinols and other things like that you may want to steer clear of that foundation actually because i think salicylic acid and some retinols that are in your skin or if you're using really aggressive skincare i think that you probably want to steer clear of that foundation um, I don't want you to have any upsets in your skin or any um, sensitivities or irritations, but just be careful of that because it's the only thing that I've had a problem with having salicylic acid in a foundation. I don't think it's necessary in the first place, but yeah, that's the only complaint that I have with that foundation. I think it looks really beautiful on my skin. I think my skin looks really beautiful when I wear it, perfects my skin, and I just... I, I can't sing its praises enough. It was also in my Sephora Hidden Gems video with one of my recommendations for this, the upcoming Sephora sale. So this is perfect, yeah, in the Sephora sale if you want to pick up. I'd say if you're in the full coverage realm, um, go with either of those two uh, perfect, perfect shade ranges. You should be able to find your shade. Should be very good on wearability. Um, this one right here, if you were neck and neck with these, it would obviously be the salicylic acid and, and what you put in your skincare. Um, but in addition to that, this is a little bit more full coverage than this one this one's a little more white lightweight a little more dewy um i think that this one be a little bit better for like aging skin or mature skin versus this one but however these two would be like a perfect pick i threw this one into if you're at walmart you're on a budget and you can find your shade dude this is that's where it got those three are my favorite those other ones they just aren't for me unfortunately and that's just the way it is coming video where I continue to do this guys I'm gonna be testing out a lot of foundations on my channel um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff please subscribe to my channel if you like me um, I do have an upcoming more medium coverage foundations that I'm gonna roll out um, here in the next couple weeks um, so you'll get that I t decided that it'd probably be best to like put these out in categories because there's like a market for like one type of person who likes one type of foundation and then just have them out everywhere so I'm trying to keep it concise I do have a moisturizer or a tinted moisturizer one already up on my channel it's doing fairly well so if you want to check that out we have the tinted moisturizers now I have full coverage foundations this video right here in the future I'll be doing the lightweight ones I've got quite a few other foundations that are coming my way I have the new Fenty one um, the easy drops I just bought the LYS I think I think that's one from Sephora that foundation looks like it's pretty popular pretty clean I think it's a serum foundation um, as well as I just bought the new um, MAC uh, Radiant Face and Body as well. So we have a lot of new foundations kicking out. So just the premise of my channel, just in case you're new, is I like to do a first impressions and roll that out so you can see the wearability. You can determine whether or not something you want to buy. And if you're one of my future people, then we go ahead and get into one of these ranking videos where I kind of give you my final thoughts and kind of rank them so that you can decide on what it is that you may want to actually purchase if you haven't purchased one of these yet. So it's kind of like a guide, trying to be a little more complete um, in my reviews so you can understand why I maybe don't like TikTok because it's a kind of my mission um, to be a little more complete, be a little honest, be real, no beauty filters and stuff like that. So some things, not TikTok is mostly real people, but you know what I mean? Trying to be real and authentic. So there's some, a lot more foundations going to be reviewed on my channel, a lot more ranking videos. That's how I'm designing this for now. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching my video today. Take care. Bye.